This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now back here at Elbil Mech, and this is Valdemar. And I guess this would be the part two of the, the leaf battery repair video. So it's been a while, I guess you, you had some vacation, and then, um, yeah, so thing, uh, things took a little bit extra time. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think it's maybe because maybe you, you just, you, you, were, you were working on this one in your free time, right? Or something, leftover time. Yeah, we've been working on free time and we was not uh, successful, we was not lucky to fix it at the first time. Uh, so I can tell you that we changed the uh, one cell, which is, was uh, uh, bad, then we changed uh, one more, one, two, <laughs> one more, and it seems that it's also bad. And then we thought, uh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so started to find out, and it, it, it looked that uh, that uh, the BMS actually was the problem. So it was uh, measuring uh, wrong uh, voltage on the on the cell, and it was uh, calculating a little bit wrong state of health. So it took a little bit more than we expected. Well, so uh, how many cells did you replace now? One or two? Uh, we replaced the same cell uh, two times. But did you get, the, I mean, you got a new replacement from the supplier, right? Yes. Okay, so you only paid for one cell? Yeah, paid for just one. And then what about the BMS then? Where did you get that from? Uh, a BMS, I got it as a present from the same supplier. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we just had a BMS. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, because but, they don't use it. Yeah. Okay, but normally how much does it cost for the BMS? Yeah. I think that uh, roughly. Uh, 12,000, if I'm not mistaken. 12,000 nook? Maybe, maybe it would work about, I think, it, approximately that would work. You guys see that um, the BMS is worth almost more than the whole car here. <laughs> this is a very expensive uh, hobby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but okay, but we're just doing this in the name of science. Yeah. So one cell has been replaced, the BMS has been replaced, the car has. I think it, it, it should be at 100%. It's charging now up on Shuko. Or no, actually on, uh, yeah, on Shuko. So it should be close to 100%. So uh, from what I remember earlier, uh, it had around 12 kilowatt hour. And then uh, it just happened to also be another blue car. Not the same one, but the one I tested from Marcus Biel had 16 kilowatt hour, similar age. So this one had low state of health or low kilowatt hour because of some BS, BMS problems and some cell problems. So I, I told Valdemar to not tell me <laughs> how many kilowatt hour it has because it's gonna be a surprise. So I hooked up on the OBD, we're gonna check on LeafSpy and see if we manage to replenish. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't work like that, but yeah, let's see that. So I, I'm actually quite uh, excited to see. <laughs> me too. Ooh, look at this. Wait, we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Wait, ten out of twelve bars. Plus the car is now fully charged. Or, or uh, is it seventy-eight kilometer on the gun? Whoa! Wait. Now I see on leaves by. It used to be twelve something kilowatt hour. Now it's fourteen point two. So we have restored some capacity. Or yeah. Um. So you get roughly two more kilowatt hour. It was not as good as a 16 kilowatt hour. Maybe, maybe the other one I, I measured was in mint condition for, for its age. So it seems like, okay, this is it. I guess the rest of the battery pack is at 14 maybe. I mean, that, they are in sync now, right? Wow, okay, so um, not what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was hoping for 16, but maybe that's not realistic. Some cells, they are just degraded more, or I, I'm not sure, like, yeah, almost don't remember, but look here, you know, some cars are just nastier than others, and they must have been uh, abused, you see the blood, and maybe the battery has also been abused, so you can only restore this much, uh, you, you just have to make sure that all the cells, they match, or I mean the, let me switch here and see some more stuff, wait, do we have data? Yeah, we have data. Um, here, okay, yeah, it seems like all the cells have been mostly matched. Not any weird uh, poking, uh, uh, no spikes here or there, so I guess that's it. Huh? Wait, uh, uh, did they reset the BMS? 
I'm not sure. But state of health is now 72%. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. State of health is 72% now. Hmm. I guess this is... <laughs> yeah, it's, but th th this is also weird. State, state of charge claims to be 85%. As if you can't go to 100%. I'm not sure if... You see, right now it's charging at 300 watts. Here. Uh, will it eventually go to 100%? Uh, I mean, it's going to take freaking forever. Because have, here we have some screenshots from uh, earlier. Let me see, was this before or after? This is final. Final, okay, this is after. Yeah, this, th this, one, this one should be the same as we have here, the live data. Uh, this one here, 45 millivolt uh, delta. And state of, state of charge is uh, 85, but now this is 85. Okay. Yep, all right, but then we have some other interesting one. This is uh, this is also after repair, but uh, when the battery is discharged. 3.5. Yeah, so what's interesting that those two cells or one module that we replaced with two cells are at the, at the bottom are actually the highest now. <clears throat> well, so we, we replaced one, uh, it was one like uh, piece, right? Yeah. Uh, and then that one, that box contains two cells. Yeah. So that wow, well, so this one, so if you compare this versus when, when it's full, then it looks like the voltages are similar, actually slightly lower than the other ones. Mm. The red one, but here it is a lot higher. So these these two they, they have more energy. Yes. Than the rest here. Correct. They need to give up soon. <laughs> uh. Uh. So the thing is that if you want to make a battery even better, so next then we have to replace this model, maybe this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So actually... Uh, then it becomes really expensive. Really expensive and uh, the question is uh, how much better the battery will be, what it would be if we would <laughs> replace those cells. But, yeah, because uh, you see now that with the... With this one, uh, it was just a little bit better. So if you replace these ones, maybe you, you didn't suddenly get uh, 0.5 kilowatt hour more, which is not mm. that much. It starts becoming very expensive for, uh, I can show you here the live data, for how much you're actually getting <laughs> kilowatt hour here. But in totally, I was uh, actually quite surprised because before was 65 uh, state of health and after replacement just one model is 72 or 73 uh, approximately. So I'm uh, very surprised how good the result it can be just replacing one cell. And actually I don't believe that we can do it on the, uh, on the other batteries. I think this is like uh, one of the hundreds, hundred cases where uh, it's it can be uh, such a good uh, repair result. But well, I want to show you something here. This one first repair. Hmm. So this is the cell you. Oh, is so this one was okay-ish, but that, wow, that was bad. But was this because of the bad BMS or was it actually the bad cell yeah, or bad model? Actually, it was uh, BMS fault, uh, and probably it was uh, discharging uh, this uh, module. Because when we replaced uh, this model, it was uh, balanced uh, exactly at uh, 4.0, yeah, uh, 4.1 approximately or 0.7. But uh, after maybe two charges or standing outside for uh, two, three days, uh, the voltage started to drop down. And uh, that's why the supplier, uh, uh, I say, advised us to try to replace the BMS because it's like, um, the cell was good. Oh, so the, actually, so the BMS misreported this one? Yes. Oh, I see. So it, I think that's it. We can get roughly 14 kilowatt hour from this, this battery pack. It seems like it has been abused a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, this is it. We cannot uh, push more of that. Uh, as I told you, I'm very surprised how good and successful repair it is. I was uh, expecting maybe 0.5 or maximum one kilowatt out of, uh, of, of one bad cell, but it seems that it's what we got, two plus two kilowatts in total. Yeah, around two kilowatt hour more. Yeah, so I, I think it's uh, very good, but I don't believe that we can do it on uh, all other cars. <laughs> maybe because it has driven not so far, was it 87,000 kilometers yeah. range? So 
it was uh, quite uh, good, I think. But I mean, for me, it was very insightful and uh, very educational to see that you know that one cell or that one module that is not two kilowatt hour we added. No. It was just that that bad cell pull everything, every, the rest back, and then once we get it right, then it's like. It's like a bicycle team, right? If we have one guy who's like, I can't, the rest of the team must also be behind with that slow guy. So if he just exercise, take some steroids, and, and then he can follow the rest of the team. Something like that. A very good example, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. But, uh, but, but when it comes to, I have, I have to ask, because I think this is what people want to ask us, is that like, for a cost perspective, is it worth it? I think that, uh, unfortunately, uh, it's not worth to, to repair it. But, um, you know, some people get very attached to the car and they don't, uh, I would say, don't feel to buying a new car and just want to keep old one. So maybe just in this case. But okay. So it seems to me, okay, in this case, we had a little bit bad luck with the BMS. Uh, if the BMS was okay and we only needed to change one module, then the biggest cost here is actually labor of taking out the battery pack and uh, so if it's not bms i think then it's worth actually okay i think so hmm. yeah so this is again okay, very educational and then uh, i guess if you guys are looking for a used leaf and you find something like this i guess uh, i would recommend to just hook up um, leaf spy hmm. yeah you go to the salesman tell him to or him or her to charge a battery to 100 percent, and then you hook it up and you should give a pretty good indication and then either you back up or you go for it <laughs> if you know some workshop <laughs> yeah i agree but, yeah very interesting and then eventually i need to decide uh, maybe i'm not sure about this video whether i should buy this car or not because i'm gonna get it fairly cheap because it's in a freaking nasty state yeah uh, I got a call from Marcus and he said if you take the leaf, he will uh, install you uh, a new uh, skin black interior in it. Uh -huh. oh, he wants me to... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, he wants to do some extreme makeover. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll consider it. We'll <laughs> see. But at least this part was about the battery repairs. So thank you so much, Valmar, for taking the time and the money to do this. <laughs> I was glad to, to work with you and uh, to experiment and uh, look how, how it goes. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, um, if you guys have questions, you can always uh, ask or you can even contact um, Elvilmech. They, they are located at uh, Liertoppen. Oh, Lier Lierskogen. Yeah, yeah, but not near Liertoppen. So um, I think that's it, but uh, this, might not be the last thing you see from this leaf. We'll see. <laughs> so, because yeah, uh, I just remember something. One thing that I haven't tried yet is to DC fast charge it. See how it goes. Yeah. Okay, but uh, uh, the the undercarriage and everything uh, is not replaced yet. So, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. Yep. So, um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.